Yeah, hi there. These comments are for Bobby, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons. And uh, you're one of my online TOEFL course students, and you completed Speak Clearly lesson number 19. So you're working right now on your pronunciation so that you can improve your TOEFL speaking. So let's hear what you have to say. Hey, Bobby. Today I'm going to uh, post speak clearly lesson number 19, practice oh. exercise for pat Got it. versus bat consonant. Number one. All right. Now let's go back to what you just said there. The pat versus bot. I think that's what you're saying. <laughs> Good, exactly. And making the vowel longer before the B because it's a voice consonant. Four. Cab. Cab. Number five. Power. Bower. Okay. Number six. Pride. Bride. Okay. Number seven. Now make this longer here. Both of these. A. Pay. Bay. Dab. Dab. Good. Number nine. Pit. Bit. Okay. Voice recording exercise one. The pain can be a shooting pain, a burning pain, or even an extremely piercing pain. Now, the actual A, you have to make that a little longer. The pain, pain, pain. The pain can be a shooting pain, a burning pain, or even an extremely piercing pain. Number two, a time capsule is a container that is filled with objects that show important things about the way people live in a certain time and place. Okay, I'm going to say again about the way, A, about the way p people live in a certain time and place. Number three, insulin has already been made by incorporating genetic material into bacteria, the cultures of which have become synthesizers of insulin. Okay. Number and maybe this one particular word here. Genetic. Genetic. Laboratory researchers in Europe demonstrated that gray parrots could learn the kinds of symbolic and conceptual tasks that they are generally considered as pre or co-requisites for complex cognitive and communicative skills. Now the P in the middle here want to pronounce that complex with a little more air than what you did but you're you're doing a pretty good job with the p consonant sound the p is it can be very difficult for a lot of students because you're not pronouncing it the same way in your own language so complex complex number five one bear bats can move side to side and backward similar to a spider instead of taking off in flight from the ground, these bats actually launch themselves into the air with powerful pectoral muscles. Pretty good. You're getting it. You're getting that P. You're doing it. So your intelligibility is pretty good. The one thing I noticed here, <coughs> excuse me, I just got done running a few miles around my house, so sometimes after I run I cough a little bit, is the, the actual long vowel you had a little bit of trouble with uh, in in this particular exercise, like the word pain, place, place. All right, let's practice these together one more time. The pain can be a shooting pain, a burning pain, or even an extremely piercing pain. A time capsule is a container that is filled with objects that show important things about the way people live in a certain time and place. 
insulin has already been made by incorporating genetic material into bacteria, the cultures of which have become synthesizers of insulin. Laboratory researchers in Europe demonstrated that gray parrots could learn the kinds of symbolic and conceptual tasks that are generally considered as pre or co-requisites -re for complex cognitive and communicative skills. Co-requisites. Michael needs pronunciation practice. Vampire bats can move side to side and backward, similar to a spider, instead of taking off in flight from the ground. Now, let me read that one one more time. Probably here. I got. I just didn't see the period there. That's what I did. Okay, I got it. Vampire bats can move side to side and backwards, similar to a spider. Instead of taking off in flight from the ground, these bats actually launch themselves into the air with powerful pectoral muscles. Now, voice recording exercise two. A degree in sociology is an ex excellent springboard for entering the world of business, industry, and organizations. The sociological perspective is crucial for working in today's... Let's try this word here. Working is crucial for working in today's multi-ethnic... Multi-ethnic and multinational business environment. Let's try this word here, the... Environment, environment, business environment. An undergraduate sociology major provides valuable insights into a sort. Let's try this one here. It's not a B, but a V. Valuable, valuable insights. Put these, put these words in your pronunciation journal. Some of these words you're having trouble with. Valuable. Here, there's no S here. It just says that affect work. Because you have one, two, three, four, five, six. You have six different words here. Then you have that, which is referring to these words. So this subject here needs to be plural. So don't put S's where they're not needed and make sure you use S's where they are needed. Organizations operate. All right. I think you're pretty good there. So uh, let's practice it one more time. A degree in sociology is an excellent springboard for entering the world of business, industry, and organizations. The sociological perspective is crucial for working in today's multi-ethnic and multinational business environment. An undergraduate sociology major provides valuable insights into social factors such as race, ethnicity, gender, age, education, and social class that affect work and how organizations operate. All right, Bobby, good job on that. So I think overall you are pronouncing, I think, the P and the B correctly. It's pretty easy to understand when you're pronouncing the one sound or the other. However, as I pointed out in the lesson, there were a few particular words and sounds that you're having trouble with. So make sure you go through the exercise once or twice more to make sure you're comfortable with those sounds. And don't forget, as I continue to point out certain problems with certain words that you're having trouble with, put those words into your pronunciation dictionary. All right, thanks, Bobby.